Hi, in two of my earlier videos I showed you how to remesh a HTL file with hypermesh. However, there are also some other tools which can help you in remeshing a HTL file. One of those tools is GOM Inspect. Now GOM Inspect is primarily a metrology tool which is used to convert point clouds into 3D models and also to compare these point clouds with nominal CAD models. But this software does have a functionality which can help you refine a HTL mesh. Now let's see how we can do this in GOM Inspect. Let's start a new project. Now within this new project we can import the HTL file that we want to remesh. So we click on import file and then we can go to desktop where we have the file that we want to remesh and we can open it. So here is my HTL file that I want to remesh. And now I can click on operations, mesh, refine. I can choose how many iterations I want to create my mesh. Let's say I go for four iterations which will give me a better mesh quality than one. And then I can select an area on this data by right clicking and saying select all points of element. As you can see, it has already restarted the remeshing procedure and showing you a preview of how the remeshed file is going to look like. But we can see that there are some problems. So you can see that the remeshing is not looking very good in these regions. So we can vary the minimum edge length that will give us a refined mesh. So I've changed the edge length to 2.6 millimeter. Now you can see at 2.6 millimeter there are some errors appearing. So we can zoom out and increase the edge length till these errors vanish. So 3 millimeters there are no more errors. So we can say apply. And now we can export this mesh. So click on the ellipse draft here in the left hand box where the meshes are listed and then you can click on export mesh HTL and that's how you get your exported remeshed ref refined mesh so this can be saved as refined ellipse draft click on OK and you're done. So this is another method of remeshing STL file. In my next video I'll show you the quality of the meshes generated by hypermesh and GOM inspect and compare them. Hope you found this video useful and thank you for listening.